Okay, so you guys have seen the little video of the Buick, a little snippet of it um, that I'm gonna take back on the 405 show, building a car to, the idea behind this car is to be able to do autocross, road course, drag race it, cruise it, and just basically have a good time in it. You can't do all three of those things and be exceptional at it, but we're not trying to do that. We're trying to just make it to where it's fun because I think the road course deal would be fun. I think the autocross deal would be fun. So we'll talk about what the motor and all that stuff is. But when I was at Good Guys, I don't even remember how long ago that was. Do you? Last summer. Okay, so when I was at Good Guys, I went up there for Church Boards Racing because, you know, they did the front end and stuff in the Chevy too. And I met Dave at UMI. I'm walking by the UMI booth and UMI does all the suspension handling stuff. But what's cool about what they do is they do it for cars that pretty much nobody else does. You guys know I'm a big Camaro guy, so they have no, they don't do anything for a 67, 8, 9 Camaro, which I thought was kind of weird. But then I start looking at their stuff and get to talking to Dave. We just put, my brother just put all of their stage four suspension stuff under the 70 SS Chevelle that I don't know if you guys have ever seen, but we'll have to bring that around and let you see it. We're putting a natural aspirate 632. It makes 1,200 horsepower in it. My Buick, they make everything for it. So I called Dave and told him what I was trying to do. Of course, Dave told me, he goes, you know, it's going to be hard to be able to do all of those and compete. I said, well, we don't want to compete. We just want to make a good showing. So what I ordered from them was their stage four handling kit. I did buy some extras. I wanted double adjustable shocks all the way around, but this package comes, and it's really, in my opinion, bang for the buck, it's super cheap. $4,000 is what all of this costs. And some of you are saying $4,000, but you can buy it any way you want. If you just want the tubular A-arms and the tubular back arms, they have a package for that. If you want to do like I did and start adding stuff, I've got the rear sway bar, the front sway bar, the, the front tower, or the, the front strut brace, rear strut brace. I mean, I got, I, I bought everything because I don't want the car to have any flex in it at all for the street and for the road course stuff. They make some super car stuff. This is what I liked about it. Most everybody puts just a regular old bushing like this in both ends. That's good for driving on the street, but you also want that thing to be able to articulate and these joints, get in on this joint, are totally rebuildable, which I thought was super cool. And all their stuff is bolt in. And the whole idea behind this car, guys, is that you can turn around, get online, Call Stacy, where you and my dealer, and buy all the stuff to do your car without having to try to pick the right combination. I'm gonna go to the mid-high level with mine, but you can upgrade this as you go. See, you guys notice I got double adjustable coilover shocks and I've got the coil springs because I'm gonna be able to switch it to check depending on what I'm gonna do with the car that week. Hey, that's a cool ass heater delete, see that? I didn't know what that was, to be honest. Well, the whole idea behind the G-Body guys is to build a car that's kind of a, 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 a three, four purpose car that's just fun to drive. The ride quality and the handling quality, this is a huge improvement over, over all the stock stuff. And like I said, you can do it on a budget. If you just want to do the... There's some people that just do the lower control arms. Then later they do the upper control arms. I don't think that's a smart idea because if you got it apart, just take it apart one time. And when you go on UMI's website and start looking at their stuff to see it's really, really reasonable. Not only is the price reasonable, but the quality is way, way higher than what the price is on it. So, oh, I like these. I like these a lot. So, can you see it? Mm -hmm. They use a lower snubber, so you set the car down. But all of their stuff, for a drag race application, some of you are going, oh, that's too heavy. That's still way lighter than a stock one. 
And I would rather something I'm going to drive all the time. I would have a, rather have a little bit of weight and not worry about it folding up because we know some of the other competition drag race control arms. If you guys haven't heard stories of them folding up, being pulled down the road on a trailer, then you probably don't go on the internet much. So this package on these shocks, I like these shocks. Funny thing is I used to be dead set against Viking shocks. And it was unfair because I'd never even ran a pair, but because they look like a QA1 and I don't do QA1, I, I assumed they were the same quality. And that was a mistake on my part. I got these in a kit for the orange car and we put them on the car. I was amazed at how well they work. This is what I run on the front of my, or on my silver truck that hauls ass on the street and leaves like it does. They're Vikings. Double adjustable front, double adjustable rears. Got the coilovers, and I've got the rear springs. I'm gonna use the factory spring in conjunction with the double adjustable spring. And there's a reason I'm gonna do it, and I'll explain it when we're doing the suspension stuff. Actually, I'll explain it after we test the car and it actually works the way I think it will. So, this kit is their stage four kit. It comes with every bolt, every bracket, every nut, everything to do, even a drive shaft loop. And it's car specific. That's the cool part about this. They do, now they, they do Camaros guys. They do uh, second gen Camaros, third gen, fourth gen. Go check out their website. Like I said, if, you want, if you're interested in your parts, you can call David UMI and talk to him, or you can message Stacy on the page and we can get you anything you need. We'll be showing you guys a video doing the install on all this. Aaron Wickheiser, a friend of mine. I took the car over to him the other day because I'm gonna try to get the gold car back up in here and fix the wiring on it and finish it. So, this is suspension part one. Next time, pan over that way. We'll do the whole open the Holly catalog and go buy all your Holly stuff. Because everything about this car, the only fabrication is gonna be on these cute little things. And there's not gonna be much of that. I bought everything that you guys can go on there. Can you do it with a Grand National on a budget? No. But can you go get a Buick or a, a, a Grand Prix? A Malibu? Something like that, another G-Body? And do the exact same thing I'm doing. The budget on this car, and oh God, I know I'm opening the door on this one, is $40,000. Everybody, I know you guys are fucking throwing $40,000. But you'll go buy a late model Mustang for $50,000 or $40,000 put a $6,000 supercharger on it and still have a pile of shit. What I'm talking about doing is building a car that you can do three or four different things with. It still be fast. It still be cool. And it's all bolt on stuff. And you can say, like I can say, I built mine. You bought yours. Good.